Stormwatch 12 weather with meteorologist Sarah Kress. And right now we're looking out at talent. The sun is going to begin to rise soon. Not until we make it past 7 though today. We will begin to see that sunrise about 7.09. If you do have a chance to get outside this morning too as well, we do have a chance to see the comet. Now tomorrow morning is going to be the last chance until we do head into the second half of October. And your best chance to see this comet is if you do have a camera or a telescope. It is going to be a little bit tricky to see with just your bare eye. But definitely look towards the horizon, towards the sunrise, and that's where you could definitely possibly get a chance at seeing some of this comet. It is very clear this morning, so definitely some great chances. Now, as we make our way into October, again, we're going to expect these pretty dry conditions. Right now, sitting over top of us is a very, very dry mass of air, and that is going to continue to keep us to have those bright and sunny skies as we are heading through this week. Now, as we head into Friday, we do have a trough that is making its way. It isn't going to dip down too far. We're not going to get a lot of cool air making it down with that trough, but it is going to bring us some pretty windy and gusty conditions, especially over to the east side as we are heading into Friday and Saturday, possibly tracking the chances for some critical fire weather. We're still seeing some pretty dry conditions as we are heading into the weekend. As we make our way into next week, we are tracking another system and it's looking right now that it could make it here by the time it comes into the second half of next week. And hopefully maybe that will possibly bring us the chances of four some showers. It's still a little bit too far away to tell, but we'll keep you updated the closer we get into next week. But right now, as we're waking up this morning, we are seeing some cooler temperatures 48 into Medford, 45 into Selma, over along the coast into the 60s already. Now making our way down to Northern California, cooler as well, 40 into Montague, 50 into Etna, and back up east of the Cascades. Very chilly start, 22 degrees over into Christmas Valley, down to Klamath Falls, 42, and over at Lakeview, 34 this morning. Now we still do have that red flag warning issued for most of the west side and especially along the coast. It is mainly for those higher elevations. We're seeing a lot of those lower relative humidity values. The winds will begin to die down as we do head into those afternoon hours. And as we head into the evening, we can still, can still continue to see those gusty conditions along the coast. But we could possibly, because those gusts are dying down, we'll be seeing some better fire conditions. Now today our high temperatures are going to be into the 90s over to the west of the Cascades, over to the east, into the 80s. And again, Brookings thinks that Chetco effect still going to be up into the 80s for today. And as we head into those overnight hours, definitely another chilly night. We're going to see a lot of those clear skies yet again, breezy along the coast and possibly seeing some clouds make their way in from a front that is going to be peeking its way through a little bit bit to the north of the coast. But let's go ahead and take a look at your seven day for the coast. We're going to see some pretty breezy conditions until we head into Thursday, but temperatures staying pretty warm over into Northern California, staying dry and sunny temperatures in the upper 80s for the next week over into the Klamath Basin. Same deal. So it's bright and sunny skies for the next seven days in breezy conditions as we head into the weekend over into the mountains, possibly seeing some clouds as we do make our way until Friday. We're definitely having not going to be seeing those for a while and making our way over into the Rogue Valley. Bright and sunny skies for the next seven days.